Hey guys, Lincoln Burnham here from Redline Pursuit TV. Michigan small game season's coming close to an end this year. It's almost March 31st, and we got a couple rabbits and squirrels that were sitting in the freezer. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you guys how to make a rabbit chip dip. Some of you guys may already know, but it's a nice little recipe that I like and I've always enjoyed. Uh, my best friend, one of my best friends' dads, uh, Mike, taught me this recipe when we were younger. We used to call rabbit and bunny hunting and small game hunting, squirrel hunting all the time. So we're going to cut up some rabbit today, and we're going to make a chip dip. All right, now as you guys can see, when I was cutting that up, I was cutting it up nice, small, and little chunks there. So you can scoop it right out with a chip. Make sure you have a really good rabbit dip and you're not getting some big chunks in there and you know, trying to bite down, it's not taking up the whole chip. So, now that we got that done, some people like to boil the rabbits before and then cut them up and put them right in the dip. Me, personally, I like to cut my rabbit up, I like to fry it on the pan, get my seasonings in with it that I'm frying it with and everything else. We'll marinate it in our bowl here first and uh, get all our seasoning mixed in with it real nice. And then afterwards, after we fry it, we'll get to making the dip part. So now as you guys can see, we got a nice little bowl of rabbit here. All up in nice little chunks, whatnot, perfect for scooping with the chip. So me personally, I like my rabbit a little more spicy and I don't have any like set measurements that I put in this dish or anything like that. I just put in what I know tastes good and what I like and kind of figure out how much I'm going to add as I go. So personally, I like red pepper in mine. Put some red peppers in there. Now, we're also going to put some black pepper in here. All nice and seasoned up like that. With some minced onion. Some of that in there. And then we're going to put some uh, spicy Montreal steak in there. I really like this spice. I think it makes my food taste a lot better. But, oh, haven't even opened this one up yet. Brand new one. Oh, and I didn't have any special amount of rabbit, guys, or nothing like that. Um, I think right there is about a rabbit and a half that was in the bag. That I pulled out. And now we're just looking for the cayenne pepper. Perfect cayenne pepper right there. Put some cayenne pepper in there, make this thing taste great. Almost forgot another important one there. Chili powder. Love chili powder on all my stuff. Love throwing some of that in there. Put some chili powder in there and whatnot and make it taste pretty good. So now we're gonna mix it all up. Alright, perfect. Now we got the meat all nice and seasoned up and everything. Ready, ready to go on the fryer. So, now this is actually one of my favorite things to do. After we got the meat set up, it's all spiced and ready to go and put in the fryer. Learned this from Meat Eater when I was watching that. Always put your meat in, the, in butter. It makes it taste great. I don't know what it is about it. It's probably butter and I'm a big guy, I like butter. But, uh, always makes, always makes the meat taste great. Gives that extra little flavor. So, you got the pan, turn the pan on here. Put all that butter down in there, right on the, right on the pan. My hand started getting a little hot, realized I turned on the wrong burner. <laughs> That's no good. So, 
Now that we got the butter at the center of the pan, it's time to fry the meat. So now, as you can see, we got the butter sliding down the pan, the butter's on the pan. And we're going to take the meat right here, spread that out in there all nice, like. Now, this should cook fairly quickly. I mean, it's rabid. It's not going to take that long to cook up, especially small chunks as they're in. So, get it all nice and spread out in there like so, and... Let her cook and wait till she's done. I guess now we're back. We got our meat frying on the fryer. Me personally, I like onions and peppers in my chip dip. Unfortunately, right now I don't have any peppers sitting in the fridge, so we're just gonna cut up some onions and we're gonna throw those in there. So now I don't like my onions cooked for my for my chip dip. Some some of you may, some of you may not. Either way, whatever makes you guys happy. So as you can see here, I'm chopping up some of my onions as we're uh, as the meat's sitting there in the frying pan. Smells good. Ooh, can't wait to have this tomorrow. Nice little snack while I'm sitting at work. So now we're going to let the rabbit cook, we got our onions cut up sitting in the bowl. Now for my chip dip I use ranch and I put a lot of it in there, I'm telling you, a lot of it in there. So now after we get everything nice and cooked and our onions are cut up, we're going to pour some ranch in there, mix everything together really well, then it's going to sit in the fridge overnight. Now it's important, and I'll go over this to, to get it again tomorrow, when you put your meat in there and you mix it with the ranch and let everything soak and whatnot. Tomorrow morning, you're gonna wanna put some more ranch in there and let it soak in again before you eat it. Just for the simple fact that with the meat being hot, I don't know how it happens or what happens exactly, but it seems like it kinda absorbs some of the ranch. You don't get like as much of the flavor, I guess, like, or as like much of the dip. Like, when you're trying to dip it and whatnot, it won't, it won't be so much as a dip, it's just like ranch covered, uh, ranch covered rabbit. So you wanna put quite a bit in there, Maybe some French and onion seasoning along with it. I mean, if that's what you guys like, anyways, and uh, yeah, make it more of a dip, get that consistency in there. The rabbit's all done. Now we're gonna put it in our bowl here in a second. We're gonna put some ranch in there and call it a day. All right, guys. So now we got our ranch here. So now what I like to do is, we're gonna put, a, put about a quarter of this in there, once we get all the meat in there and stuff like that. We're gonna put about a quarter of this ranch in, take this spatula here, and stir it around, mix, mix it up all, all nice. So, Miss any there. There we go. So now, here on comes the ranch. Like I said, we'll about a quarter of this thing in there for it to marinate over. Alrighty guys, so that's it for this part of the dish. What we're gonna do next, we're gonna put some tin foil over the top of it. We're gonna set it in the fridge and it's gonna sit there overnight. Just let it marinate in the ranch, get it, soak up all the flavors of everything. And then in the morning, I'll be back, I'll see you guys, and uh, we'll finish the dip. Sound good? All right. Hey guys, so we're back, it's the next day. We're gonna take a cheese here, get some Velveeta shreds. A bunch of that in there, and then we're gonna take it, give her another couple squirts of ranch there. Mix that all around.
And then we got our Doritos. All right, Doritos, you guys can use whatever chips you want. I think they're pretty good. I got some sweet, sweet and spicy in the cupboard that's pretty good with it, too. And then you got your rabbit small game dip. Really good, really easy to make. So, hope you guys try it out. Let me know if you like it. Remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube page and like us on Facebook.